Hello, hello, hello. Look where we are again. We're here. We're back with another second child video. And if you didn't know, last video else, I'm gonna, gonna to read some emails. Gonna go full the weekly slap because I don't have stuff to talk about all the time. And I do know a few things about a few things. So, you know, there's questions I might ignore. I'm not trying to be toxic, but you know, I wanna answer stuff I can actually feel like I have some authority on speaking on. Uh, that can give you some genuinely good advice. Uh, if you're just some more serious stuff, I'm probably not going to answer your questions because I don't want to give you shit advice when I c it hasn't worked for me. So uh, the first question, today's question, came in. Uh, I I'm just going to assume everyone wants to be anonymous, but here it is. Hi, I'm Axo. Uh, I'm a frequent on the Chuckle Nuts server. Love to see it, by the way. Great server. Check it out. That's, that's the YouTuber group I'm in server. I've been having some problems with self-control. Do you have a way that you exercise self-control? Uh, then they said some other stuff saying uh, not, not too related. Thanks for reading this. I hope you have a great day. See you soon. The elite level gamer. The singular. That's a bold claim to make. This is a, I think this is a good one to st uh, start off with. Uh, because I think what pretty much basically underpins all of self-improvement is self-control. It's pretty much vital if you want to make any positive change in your life. And it's something you have to wrap your head around. But that takes so much time. I guess I can start talking about my personal experience with self-control. Uh, actually, I'm going to be a bit vulnerable here. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I've struggled a lot. Self-control is something I super duper duper struggled with for the majority of my life up until this year. Especially with, uh, like a lot of people have their vices. A lot of people have alcohol. I've never really struggled with drugs. A lot of people have vices with like video games. I've always been able to regulate that. But my vice was mainly like food and specifically sugar. I was a fucking, I still kind of am. I was a massive, massive sugar addict. Uh, no sense of self-control there whatsoever. It was something I super duper struggle with, like sticking to diets. No, thanks. I just, it's something I always went back to. I, I've never really unpacked why, why it's been a thing I've done. I think it's because, <laughs> it sounds kind of deep, but I think I've always, I've been the young, the youngest by far in my whole extended family and no one like ever talked to me at social events. So I think I've always used food as like a coping mechanism and that's just stuck with me, but I've, I've kind of started moving away from it. But no, uh, self-discipline is tough. Very, very tough. I've, I've struggled with it a lot until this year. Uh, but I got a kick in the ass to, to get on top of it. So where would I start with it? A lot of people, you know, you hear a lot of people like they want to go on a new diet. They want to, they want to go on a new, a new, they want to work harder. They want to do more work, more study. Uh, they want to start exercising and they have all this motivation. They have it all built up. You know, the, the, the night before they're like, we're going to do it. This is the final time. This is the change. This is going to be the change. This is going to be the time where I get the dream body. I'm going to get the, the, the dream job. I'm going to get the dream income. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get the slim down for summer. I'm going to get a fucking sexy beach body. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, right? They're, they're super motivated. Next day, they smash it. They, they rip it to shreds. They stick to the diet. Boom. They do the exercises. Bang. It's great. Day two, you bet, you know, you already know what they're doing. Stick to the diet, bang, exercise out, boom. Day three, they, they get the diet done. They, 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 they kind of do the exercises and then day four rolls around and it's like, uh, I don't really, I don't really feel like it. And it's, it's, it's down the drain. You've lost it. The, the, the sudden rush of motivation has yet again failed you. Uh, and that's a cycle. I, I say this because that's a cycle I found myself in probably hundreds and hundreds of times. So the first thing you to wrap your head around is that self-discipline is what will get you change. It'll never be motivation. You'll always, you'll always get these short bursts of motivated motivation rather. You can always hype yourself up in the moment, but what you need to wrap your head around first is that self, self-discipline is and self-control. It's just the fundamental thing underpinning all self-improvement in my opinion. All the positive change you'll make in your life will derive from self-control. Uh, whether it's sticking to the diet, you know, doing more work, uh, hitting the exercises, uh, meditating, whatever it is. It, it takes, it's hard. It's really hard at first, especially. Um, and you just have to realize that. I think it's important to realize the gravity of self-control and that it's crucial to get, to wrap your head around at first. That's the first thing I'll say. But the second thing I want to say about self-control, uh, I, I mentioned before, but self-control to me, this is how I've always visualized it. It's kind of like a muscle. It's a muscle you have to exercise more and more. Uh, a lot of scientific papers and academic stuff have linked it that willpower is this finite resource. Um, every day, you have a certain amount of willpower, a certain amount of self-control, right? Where you can go through the day, um, you know, you, you, it's, I think we call it, it's like a decision fatigue as well. Uh, it doesn't help. But say you'll start the day and it's usually easy to make harder decisions earlier in the day. Whereas once you get to the end, you're tired, you're exhausted. That's where it starts getting tough, right? You, you know, you, you might get that 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 donut as you're going home from work. You might you might I don't know get a get a Red Bull as you're you're coming home. So the first thing to wrap your head around is that you have a, a certain amount of willpower in a day, and it's static in the moment, right? You can't really do much about that. You, you can really push yourself if you want to, but that's probably not a smart idea. So the second thing I'd suggest to you is that it's a muscle, right? 
you want to be constantly de depleting. Like you, you always want to be pushing yourself that little, little bit more. If you, if you work out, you know, the idea of progressive overload. Uh, and I, I like to think of self-control in that sense. You, you, you want to start slowly and slowly incrementally building yourself up. You don't want to have these strict one day you're doing something, one day you're not. You want to slowly ease out. Don't, I would never recommend going cold turkey. Uh, like if with a diet or something, don't immediately shift up from a diet and go to something completely new because that will last you all of two to three days before you're off it. So you want to just have incremental changes. Take out 100 calories there. Swap a, a sugary drink for a uh, sugar-free one. Yada yada. Make these small changes incrementally uh, over, over weeks, over months, and that's how you will actually stick to something uh, and you'll maintain the self-control. Uh, uh, this is why I recommend Atomic Habits. <sighs> It's my goat book. It's still the best book I've written, uh, uh, read. I think I've read 12 books now. Atomic Habits is still my number one. Fantastic. It really helps you how to how to build these like these habits. Um, you really want to start small is the big thing. You really want to start small and gradually build up on them. You don't want to do anything too drastic because you will just shoot yourself in the foot and relapse. And that's not what we want at all. So yeah, it's, it's a muscle um, and you want to start small with it. You want these incremental progressively overload. Push yourself just a little bit more and more every day. Until like in a week, a week later, a month later, probably months down the track, you're going to have built these really strong habits, um, whether that's again, diet, exercise. If you just add like a five minute walk to your day, that's such, that's a great start. If you're struggling with weight loss, just add a walk around the block, do that once every day, then maybe increase it a little bit more, a little bit more. I think the great, the biggest thing with self-control is to just, just to do it incrementally. You, you really don't want to go from black to white. You know, you want to have that kind of gray area where you're slowly changing because I think you are just going to relapse super duper hard if you, um, if you end up going cold turkey on stuff and then you're trying to just go full self-control because you're running on motivation there. And the biggest thing I'd also say is motivation runs out really damn quick. So that, that's a big thing I'd, I'd consider. So I guess I can give you it in the context of my habits. Um, so with my self-control, there's a few things I've done this year. Uh, I definitely started, actually, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm being a bit of a hypocrite. I did not start small. I had a bit of a kick in the ass, which got me going pretty quickly. But since then, there's a few things I can recommend uh, for keeping on with self-control. And the number one thing I'm actually going to recommend is habit trackers. They are huge game changers. Love them to bits. What I do is I, I, I measure out like a month's worth of days. I can make this table, right? It's, it's above my, my monitor. I put it in the discord earlier. If you so join the discord, I put it in my, in one of the chats there on my habit tracker. I have cold shower, walking Mackie, meditate, read, walk, workout, journal. And if I stick to my diet. And every day, if I hit the goal, give it a tick, give it a tick. And when you start to see this wave of ticks forming and it starts getting better and better, it really builds up momentum. It's, it's really powerful. Uh, and on the contrary, if you don't stick to it and you see those X's piling up and you're, you stay true to yourself and actually ticking it, you're like, oh shit, I should really get back into it. I should really try harder. And it just keeps yourself accountable. It's really good. Uh, habit trackers are great for self-control. 100% would recommend those. Very, very, very important. This other great idea with self-control, and it kind of links into um, the book Atomic Habits and habit building, is that there's this idea, this is another really valuable idea I took from that book. It's this idea called habit stacking, where once you, you might pick up one positive habit, say you start doing, you walk around the block for five minutes, right? Uh, you might, after a while, you might add a new habit after that. So say after you, you, you walk around the block, you add uh, drinking a liter of water. You have a, a liter of water over like five minutes. I don't know, something like that. And then you, you get that down after a week or two. Oh, you add something else after that. Maybe that's after that's when you read. After that, and then after reading, that's when you meditate. And like over weeks or months, you start like kind of chaining your habits together and you get this really nice flow of a day. You kind of build up this really nice routine and it just it just becomes habitual. That's 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 the main goal, I think. Uh, it, it, at, at that point, right, it's, it doesn't become a matter of self-control. It becomes a matter of, it's a habit. You just do it out of instinct. It's something you just, you, you know to do, which is really good because I was talking before about this idea of self-control being a, like a, like a, you think of like a battery, it's a finite resource, right? So if you get into the habit of doing something, you're not actually exercising as much willpower to go and do something you just do, right? So you can actually save up more willpower to, do, uh, to direct to other aspects of your life, like working, uh, maybe it's just something else, you know, dieting, whatever. So if you want to know my habit stack, what I do, I can actually give you my morning routine because I think this links in with self-control. But what's basically become instinctual for me now is I get up, I have a cold shower, I walk Mackie for 40 minutes, I read for 45 minutes. No, sorry, I walk Mackie, I get home, I meditate for about 10 minutes usually, then I read for 45 minutes, and that's my morning. Oh, my voice. <laughs> that's my morning routine done. That's that's what I do over morning. Um, and it's this habit stack I just built up, and I really, really like it. It's just every morning, it's what I do unless I'm having a day off, like after a YouTube upload, I've, I've just grinded the day before. I'm like, fuck it. I'm not doing that, <laughs> which is probably stupid, but yeah. So yeah, cold shower. I walk my dog. I meditate. I read. That's my habit stack for the morning. That's my morning routine, basically. So they're probably the main tips I'd, I'd give for self-control. 
is number one, recognize how crucial it is. It's, it pretty much underpins all self, self-improvement, in my opinion. It's probably the most important thing you want to get your head around early. And just, just recognize that it's crucial to build self-discipline uh, and keeping yourself accountable. The next thing I'd say is treat it like a muscle. Don't go cold turkey on things. Gradually introduce things. I know people want things fast, but it's just with something like self-discipline, this is a lifelong practice you're improving upon. So don't expect quick results. I just say stick to saying small changes uh, and incrementally increase them and get better at it like that. And then the, the last things I'd say is stuff like habit trackers, uh, habit stacking are great for keeping yourself accountable and building up habits without even like having to exercise willpower. So yeah, uh, self-control, it's a big complex thing. Uh, I've really struggled with it throughout my life. And I think it's also important not to beat yourself up if you do happen to, to relapse, if you do happen to uh, mess up a day. That's, it's not the end of the world. You have tomorrow. Uh, also, said, it says in Atomic Habits is this idea of never never skip a habit two days in a row. If you, if you miss one, if you miss a workout on a day, that's okay. But do not miss it the next day because that's when your habits completely start to crumble. So that's also a good piece of advice with self-control and habit building, I guess. So yeah, I, I think that's some really important stuff for exercising self-control. Uh, it's, it's something I'm still getting better at. I still have my bad days. I still binge watch sometimes. I fuck up. It's, it's natural. Don't, don't try to beat yourself up too much. Uh, especially if you're young. It's, it's something you, you build up discipline. It takes a long time. It's a very long journey. Uh, and I'm very early on it too. So I'm just giving you what's worked for me. I hope that comes. I hope that helps you a bit. Hopefully my, 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 my experience can kind of relate. And yeah, that's, that's basically what I want to talk about. So I hope that's helped. I hope that's helped you. Uh, we'll keep it at that. We'll keep it snappy. Keep it tight. Thank you for watching, and yeah, farewell, Elite Level Gamer.